the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, our Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. Today is the feast day of St. Pontianus and Hippolytus, Pontianus Pope in the middle of the third century, and Hippolytus a priest of Rome. Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Noel Orga, whose anniversary it is at this time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May the precious long suffering of the just, O Lord, we pray, bring us a great increase of love for you, and always prompt in our hearts constancy in the holy faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together at Shechem. Then he called the elders, leaders, judges, and scribes of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Then Joshua said to all the people, The Lord, the, the, Lord, the God of Israel, says this, <clears throat> In ancient days your ancestors lived beyond the river, such was Terah, the father of Abraham, and of Nahor, and they served other gods. Then I brought your father Abraham from beyond the river and led him through all the land of Canaan. I increased his descendants and gave him Isaac. To Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau I gave the mountain country of Seir as his possession. Jacob and his sons went down into Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron and plagued Egypt with the wonders that I worked there. So I brought you out of it, 
I brought your ancestors out of Egypt and you came to the sea. The Egyptians pursued your ancestors with chariots and horsemen as far as the Sea of Reeds. There they called to the Lord and he spread a thick fog between you and the Egyptians and made the sea go back on them and cover them. You saw with your own eyes the things I did in Egypt. Then for a long time you lived in the wilderness until I brought you into the land of the Amorites who lived beyond the Jordan. They made war on you and I gave them into your hands. You took possession of their country because I destroyed them before you. Next, Balak, son of Zippor, the king of Moab, arose to make war on Israel and sent for ba Balaam, son of Beor, to come and curse you. But I would not listen to Balaam. Instead, he had to bless you, and I saved you from his hand. When you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, those who held Jericho fought against you, as did the Amorites and Perizzites, the Canaanites, Hittites, Girgashites, Hivites, and Je Jebusites. But I put them all into your power. I sent out hornets in front of you, which drove the two Amorite kings before you. This is not the work of your sword or your bow. I gave you a land where you never toiled. You live in towns you never built. You eat now from vineyards and olive groves you never planted. The word of the Lord. Great is his love, love without end. Great is his love, love without end. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Great is his love, love without end. Give thanks to the God of gods. Great is his love, love without end. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. Great is his love, love without end. Through the desert his people he led. Great is his love, love without end. Nations in their greatness he struck. Great is his love, love without end. Kings in their splendour he slew. Great is his love, love without end. He let Israel inherit their land. Great is his love, love without end. On his servant their land he bestowed. Great is his love, love without end. And he snatched us away from our foes. Great is his love, love without end. Alleluia, alleluia. Your precepts, O Lord, are all of them sure. They stand firm for ever and ever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus, and to test him they said, Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife on any pretext or whatever? He answered, Have you not read that the Creator from the beginning made them male and female? And that he said, This is why a man must leave father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then what God has united, man must not divide. They said to him then, Why did Moses command that a writ of dismissal should be given in cases of divorce? It was because you were so unteachable, he said, that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But it was not like this from the beginning. Now I say this to you, the man who divorces his wife, I'm not speaking of fornication, and marries another, is guilty of adultery. The disciples said to him, if that is how things are between husband and wife, it is not advisable to marry. But he replied, it is not everyone who can accept what I have said, 
but only those to whom it is granted. There are eunuchs born that way from their mother's womb. There are eunuchs made so by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves that way for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the night. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, 
Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Laudens, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetuum, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us show each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, See how rich is the saints' reward from God. They died for Christ and will live forever.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labour in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Hippolytus, Holy Guardian Angel.